you drink? Sure, you can drink some of that. Can you? Do you need help? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my Stillman and Byrne sketchbook. This is the beta series. It is a soft cover and it's blue. Disclaimer, my kids are in... <laughs> my kids are in the background, so you will hear them talking and playing. Can you please take this off my desk? Thank you. Just a flip through of this. This is about 30 spreads, I think. Um, it is the beta series, so it is watercolor. Um, it says for heavy, heavier washes, um, and it is smooth. Uh, I do have the... Um, gamma, which is the same, but just cream colored. Um, and I will eventually get to that. I have just been really loving the handbound journals that I've been making. Uh, I can, I like the fact that they are B6 size, so I can stick them in my traveler's notebook. And, um, I really enjoy the paper that I use. It is Strathmore mixed media paper, very similar to this, just not as thick. And, um, it is a little bit more on the cream side instead of white. So this is what I um, am going to move into or I have already moved into. Not this one particularly, but um, a different one. You can purchase these on my Etsy shop. Um, I would say that they are great for anything, honestly. I do a lot of, uh, I do a lot of watercolor and so um, I really enjoy them with watercolor as well as using my fountain pen on them. So in every sketchbook, let's do the flip through. <laughs> uh, in every sketchbook, I do like my favorite supplies. This was done in June, so I will be doing a new favorite supplies sketch um, in my new sketchbook. Now, I do this for every sketchbook and I would say it takes me about three months to fill a sketchbook. So, you know, there are some variations um, in what I have been using. Like I haven't touched this Bic Pen at all since I did this sketchbook. And I don't even think I used Bic Pen in this sketchbook at all. So I wouldn't include that in my list come my new sketchbook or this Pilot Pen. Um, I haven't been using that at all either. So, um, you know, there's going to be some differences. I do end up drawing a lot of the same thing. Like, um, I will draw this pen pencil a lot, as well as these brushes. And these brushes I have drawn for probably five years now. So it's kind of like I already know how to draw them, but I still like to document them. And I still like to put them in my sketchbooks. So uh, that was this page. And I think I have a process video on this as well. This was a hike that my family and I went on to. No fruit snacks, honey. Go put those back. Where did you get those out of the bag? No, on the ground right there. Okay, can you go put them back on the table? They're for the rec center. Okay. Thank you. Uh, where was I? <laughs> Multitasking. Um, this is a hike that my family and I went on, um, and I sketched it from a photo. Um, do I have a process video on this? I think I might. I will link all the process videos down in the description box for you. This was a sketch that I did for a show, an art show. Uh, this particular piece that the sketch I did, the larger piece, did not get uh, chosen. However, a bigger, I had three, I entered three pieces. One piece got chosen. This was not one of them. However, it is my favorite and I have it as a print in my Etsy shop and I also have it hanging on my wall. The actual, uh, you know, original. This I have a process video on. These flowers were in bloom outside my house and I just had to sketch them. I went on a hike and create with a group of people in my hometown, and this is what I sketched during that um, hike. I really enjoy uh, the reddish brown mountains here, uh, close to Red Rocks in Colorado. And um, along with the green, I just think that's a great color combination. Uh, this photo was taken at the Garden of Gods, and I took the photo probably over a year ago, and I did it. I drew it on July 25th. This was my very first weekly um, documenting my life spread. I think this is one of my favorite spreads 
as well. So um, I really, really like this. I did a lot more uh, journaling in here, and you'll see in my later ones that I didn't really journal. So um, maybe I need to get back to that. Going through your sketchbooks like this gives you ideas. You're giving yourself ideas instead of getting ideas from somewhere else. Some people always ask me like, how do you find your style? Where do you find your style? And to be quite honest, I do find my style from other people. Like I, I take bits and pieces of what I like out of their art and I try and incorporate it into my own. But I really think looking back on my old sketchbooks um, sparks uh, creativity in my own brain and my own mind and really makes me push where I was at one point to get to where I am now. And I, I really enjoy looking back through old sketchbooks. This is a spread that I followed along with Jordan Clark. She's here on YouTube. I will link her in the description box. Um, I normally don't uh, do things like this, but it was one of those days where you wanted to create something, but you just didn't want to think about it. And she had kind of a step-by-step -step video that I just could draw but not think and just watch her and put the pen to paper. And I colored some, didn't color some, you know, it was, it's unfinished, but I'm leaving it like that. This is my second installment of the Draw My Week in my documented journal. Uh, this is a good one too. I said the other one was my favorite, but I really like this one too. Um, but anyway, uh, I did... <laughs> my computer, man, has been eating my videos. I did record this process, but um, my computer deleted it, so that stinks. But um, this is a really good one. This is a tiny whoop which is a also known as a re really 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 small quadcopter or a drone people people have called them drones kind of before like people know what I mean when I say drone but um, it's a tiny whoop my husband has just during this week just got really into um, trying to learn how to fly uh, this and a quadcopter which is a little bit bigger um, my kids love fruit snacks. Actually, my daughter just came in and asking for some. Um, I normally give them them at the rec center after they've like kind of like hung out for a little bit. My Lamy fountain pen here and here, and then my art show piece and some library books. Oh, and Kyra, she came out with her new little slogan at this time, so I drew it in my week. This is a page I am definitely not happy with. Uh, that's okay though. You will have these pages in your sketchbook, and I learned from them. You know, I really, I have a hard time drawing trees and trying to fit them into landscapes. So, like I said, trees are very hard for me, so I was trying to figure out how to draw them in here. I also tried to play with, like, the sky uh, on mountain snow. Not a fan. Maybe it's a color combination. Maybe it's the fact that I centered something, and I don't like when things are centered. There's a lot of things wrong with this, but... Like I said, I learned from it and I am moving forward. Uh, this is a spread about my daughter. Everything is, is exaggerated here. Um, she's growing some hair, so she's getting like wispies and stuff. It does not look like her one bit, but it still is um, kind of an ode to her. This is just me playing with, <laughs> sorry if you hear my kids. This is just me playing with um, my landscapes, adding in some water and some uh, doodles in there. I really enjoy that page. This is my son. This does look more similar to him. Um, and then his favorite toys at the moment in August. Um, I liked the fact that he was black and white and the images, his favorites, are in color. This is a spread that I actually recorded and I got to you guys up on YouTube. Um, I will link it in the description box. Again, this is like a, a one of those documented weekly drawing spreads. This is a trial for one of my sketchbooks that I made for my Etsy shop. I have it still and here it is. Uh, it's not exactly the same. I took some things into consideration when I put it in this book. Um, I didn't do as much of this, and I really enjoy these little patches here. But uh, And then I kind of changed the colors of the mountains a bit. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the B6 journals in my Etsy shop. This was the Solar Eclipse. I just kind of did a play on it. 
Uh, this is the library that we went to. Oh. Be quiet, okay? Okay. This is the library that we went to. Uh, they had it so that way you could see it on the big screen so you didn't have to go outside. My kids are really young and I didn't want to put glasses on them and them take it off and still look up at the sun and possibly hurt their eyes. So instead, we watched it in the library. So this is our local library. And then I just kind of drew what the sun looked like at the time, um, at the specific time of the day. So that was that. These are just thumbnail sketches. I was again trying to work out like how to implement trees. I really enjoy this one and I would like to make it large. Um, I did not paint it in and I'm okay with that. So maybe you'll see this in a future video, large or something, but as for now, it's going to stay in this book and it's going to stay black Whoa. and white because I do enjoy it being black Whoa, and white. Chris. This is another weekly uh, documenting my life spread. Um, I did not record this one, and I think this is one of my least favorites. But again, you know, we're going to have that, and that's okay. Um, I tried to represent my brain being crazy and just going in every direction. I got a new fountain pen. This is the Lamy Nut Nex, and it is a really cool fountain pen. I'll have to show it to you sometime. I don't have it with me, but... I got some new paint from the Ruby Mount Paint Company. I will leave her Instagram and her Etsy shop in the description box. They are absolutely lovely and um, they are in my travel palette as of right now so that way I can use them on the go. And then I tried fried green tomatoes for the very first time. That was pretty exciting. This spread is for when I hit 1,013 people on Instagram. Uh, I cannot believe a thousand people follow me on Instagram. I think that is very cool. I am really active on Instagram. Um, a lot more than I am on YouTube. I do apologize for that. I am trying to stick to one video a week. However, with school starting for my son and um, him not napping anymore, it's become rather difficult. But I am making a point to really try to do the once a week. So if you miss me on YouTube, because sometimes it just is not every week, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. You'll see many more things. I uh, even do stories sometimes, and I am known to do a couple of live streams before, so maybe I will start that up again. This is a journal girl. Um, I'm obsessed with braids, if you don't know that. And these, this color, this color scheme is just amazing. I am thinking about scanning this and making it into a journal cover. Uh, I really love the peach with this gold yellow color. It's just really beautiful and it reminds me of fall. This is a really, really, really bad <laughs> weekly uh, journal documenting spread, but that's okay. Um, this is when Houston uh, was flooding and I I uh, was listening to a lot of audiobooks, and I met a friend or my family, our family is met at a local brewery. Um, she is from Houston and she was up here so we got together and had a wonderful time. This is another journal girl. I uh, was kind of practicing for a custom journal that I made for someone. Her name is Tina from Overall Adventures. Uh, she just, she received my journal and she, I think, is going to be using it in her upcoming videos. Um, she is a journaler, a written journaler. She talks about why it's important to write, how it helps you through different things. Um, she is dabbling in watercolor, but she's not an art journaler per se. She, she focuses more on the writing. Uh, like I said, she's dabbling in the art a little bit more. Um, but anyway, this was kind of a practice for her, uh, for her sketchbook. Um, I ended up making her have overalls and I really liked the idea of this being an earth, um, and then having the waves and the mountains and the sky on top. Uh, so I play with that a little bit more as we go through this journal. I'm into September right now. I tab these, so like uh, this tab says September, and on the back here it says Earth. It kind of just goes with the theme of the page. 
This is a documenting life journal spread. This is something that I did on camera. I will link it in the description box. Uh, this is when my son started school. I just love this monkey book bag. This whole spread makes me smile because it was a really good week. Um, my family came to visit, um, my aunt actually, on my mom's side, and we went to a state park and I got to sketch this at the park. It, I really would like to practice water. Um, I always want to draw water as being blue, however, water has reflections and I need to stop. A lot of times I used to tell my students that you need to draw what you see, not what you think it should be. I am drawing what I think the water should be, not what I actually see. And I think once I stop drawing, once I just stop thinking of it as water and just draw it and put the colors down that I see, it'll end up looking a lot better. It just takes practice. <laughs> this is just me playing around with different colors. I am really drawn to cool colors. So the blues, the greens, the deeper oranges, you know, the like the burnt orange and stuff like that, the, the burnt siennas and browns and stuff. And so I was trying to add some pinks in here along with some bright yellows. I'm not a huge fan, but um, I know other people like the bright colors. I'm a muted girl myself, but I know other people like the bright colors, so I'm trying to venture out with my color palette. I'm just uncomfortable with it, so. That's what this is me trying to do here. This is another documenting my weekly life spread. I did have a video on this, however, it has gotten lost um, from my computer. And um, this is just me, like uh, when I drop my son off at school, we ride our bikes and then we pick, when we pick him up, we ride our bike. We have to hold this number so that way they can bring us the right kid, quite interesting. Um, my kids were sick this week, so he went to school, I think, one time that week. Um, the rest of the week, we stayed home and kind of hunkered down. I was obsessed with my green smoothies that week, like so obsessed that I just pretty much ate that for lunch and dinner every day. Um, I really enjoy these. If you're interested in smoothies, let me know. I can give you the recipe. I will, uh, I could have that in a future video. Um, and this was me sending out some Etsy orders. I really appreciate everyone that has purchased from me and I love all your feedback that you have given me and I'm just really grateful for everyone. This is another spread of me playing with um, my watercolors and the globe. I did have a process video of this. I will link it in the description box. And then this is my last page. It is just me practicing some trees. I took this photo when we were on a hike. To be honest, I don't know where we were hiking, so that's why I didn't write it in here. Um, but I really do want to get better at doing trees, so that's what I was practicing, along with some water. Um, those are my two goals, is to, uh, when I'm out urban sketching, to either find a tree or water, and that's what I'd be sketching, so. Um, that is the last page in my Stillman and Burns sketchbook. Um, I will be moving on to my um, B6 sketchbook. It's going to be housed in my uh, Chic Sparrow Chocolate Creme um, Traveler's Notebook. So you will see that in future videos. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe so you can see future videos like this. And if you have any questions, comments, or anything, I would love to chat with you in the description box below. Until next time, everybody, bye.